Today we're counting down the best bites from our tour with Zach Brown. So let's get started with my number 10 pick. Dallas is, you know, always like the Atlanta of Texas to me. I feel like I'm at home. I feel like we're here. Not every state feels that way. Ask any Texan and they'll tell you there's nothing like some smoked sausage, y'all. And we stuffed this baby with three pounds of jalapenos and five pounds of jack cheese. I know you made that sausage, right? Yeah, dude. Hit fire. Round it up. Yes, sir. Number nine is the pecan crusted sheep's head. And I remember you hooked up that margarita, tequila, oh, jalapeno, like, uh, jalapeno oh, key man, lime man. butter. The sauce was just perfect with it. Numero Ocho's gonna take us to sunny Phoenix, Arizona, where my partner Pritchard hooked up a fall squash gratin for the record books. He's layered this one up with custard and cranberries, and you know we're bringing that flavor, you heard me? Number seven, I had a little contemplating to do. It's the panzanella salad. One of the things I love about this dish is the way we kind of turned it around and did the Bloody Mary vinaigrette. I love the acidity behind it, and you get tomato, the texture of the bread, and then bang, yep. the acidity comes in from behind. Well, number six is John Josh's pork, goji berry barbecue sauce, smoked ribs. The bite of the vinegar, the sweetness of the sugar, and then you got the goji. It kind of holds it all together. Number five, Antonio's strawberry mint to be pie. It came out amazing and perfect, and the texture and the crunch and the flavor was perfect. Number four, the rabbit tamales, baby. Tell me about the rabbit tamales, man. How did, how did that come about? You know, nothing's better in a tamale and a corn husk, and you steam it, and all that flavor gets in there. Number three is the Creekstone corned beef brisket. It's a perfect balance between tangy, sweet, and a little spice on there. We're down to the top two, baby. It's our plum sangria upside down cake, y'all. A really nice, moist, and wet center. And then I love the crispy outside. Number one is the best dish I think we've ever made. It is the box crab soup. The best crab that I've ever tasted. That's the box crab. Few things in this world has ever excited me as much as those crabs. So when old Zach stopped by, you know I had to show him. God, dude, look at that thing. I, I saved one for to get crazy with it. But the meat, feel how soft, it's soft, soft, soft. Oh. I do. <laughs> Man, it's awesome. I'm so stoked, dude. There only can be one, and there's no mistaking that this is number one.